Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and this week I'm going to talk about how to transfer a project down to your BNR controller just using a simple USB stick. I have talked about in past videos how we would go about doing that, hardwired up, but this week I've been getting a lot of questions from customers about how to do that with just a USB stick. So let's hop into the program and we'll get started. All right, here's how we're gonna how we're gonna set up so we can download a project or transfer a project utilizing a USB. First, open up your project, which I've got open right here. And the first thing we need to do, we need to go to physical view. Click on physical view, and then right click on your CPU. So I have the X20 CP0484. So go ahead and make sure you're highlighted over and just right click on it and then click on configuration. Once you get to configuration, go ahead and click on system and then go to activate USB install. We wanna change this to on. Go ahead and hit save all and then you can close out of there. And then I'm physically wired into it right now with an ethernet cable. I need to transfer this on down to the, to the controller so that it knows for future to look for the USB. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click, trick, uh, click transfer I'm going to come on over here and click on transfer. All right, I went ahead and I transferred that on down. So next what we want to do is we can unplug from it so we're not connected in. And then make sure you have your USB port plugged into your USB port of your desktop. And then also you need to make sure that the USB is formatted at FAT32. Most of them, are, that's how they stand, come as standard, but just make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we wanna go to project, up here at the top, go on down to project installation, and then go to generate project installation package. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're clicked on the generate project installation package PIP on your D drive. So go ahead and click on that and then click generate project installation package. You can close on out of there and we're all set. Now it's stored onto the USB. You can unplug the USB from your computer or your laptop and then you can go ahead and you plug it into any USB port on the front of the controller. I'm going to plug it in right now and it will automatically install it onto your controller. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this week. I hope it was very informative for you and helps you out on your next automation project utilizing the BNR hardware. If you really like these videos, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great content in regards to automation, BNR, and some of our other product lines that we sell through Hardfield Automation. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.